Hey everyone, how are you doing on today's 20 hour fast on our September, October challenge today? We're gonna break our fast and I'm also gonna share a low carbohydrate ketogenic diet manual, no sugar, no starch diet by Dr. Eric Westman that was done in 2013. I think this is the page four diet everybody talks about. Can't share the whole book, but I can share the highlights with everybody. So come on, you guys, let's get this day started. Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. For those of you who are brand new, and for those of you who are our regular subscribers, Harry and I are doing a September, October Loving It on Keto challenge. It's going from September 9th to October 21st or until I get my knee replacement surgery on my right knee. Now, today is our first Sunday 20 hour fast, four hour eating window. Once you have broken your fast, you can do a ketogenic diet, a ketovore diet, or a carnivore diet, or something in the ketogenic sphere that works best for you and your body. Now, something I forgot to share yesterday was because I talked about it. So if you haven't seen that video, Harry will link it at the end. But I talked about um, the Dr. Eric Westman, page four versus the phase one in the end your carb confusion, which is the book he wrote just a few years ago. Now, I have the end your carb confusion book, which is this book right here. And this book was published when, let's take a peek, you see and see. Hmm. How come they don't have the, the publishing date? House to the front doesn't maybe it's on a different page in the front let me see it just goes right into the diet here which is interesting chapter one how you got here see what I'm saying it should be right there. there it is it was stuck 2021 is when it was uh, copywritten so I don't want to go into too much detail because it takes a lot of hard work to write a book and um, you can go purchase one fairly easily now I purchased this online and I'm calling it a pamphlet basically more than or a booklet let's call it a booklet um, because the end of the printed information which would be the the low carb meal planning ends on page 15 I believe let me see and then he's got a workbook page 17 he's got uh, a workbook but the interesting thing on this is the no sugar no starch diet starts on page four it's page four and five it's in larger print gives you the list of the foods but the information that's the most important besides having all of the pure protein foods which are the the beef the poultry the fish, the fowl, the eggs, the dairy, all of those things that have no carbs, um, is that he is also stating here that you can eat as much as you want of the following, the meat, the poultry, fish, shellfish, eggs. Um, don't avoid the fat on the meats or in the foods, but you need to limit your oils and fats. So he also says that he wants you to eat two cups of the semi uh, non-starchy vegetables and he gives you a list of those he wants you to eat the non-starchy vegetables uh, which would be like all of the field greens right S stuff that grows above the ground the leafy things you get two cups of those right now the non-starchy vegetables he says one cup so it's the same as and your carb confusion. He has not changed his ideology at all. Cheese up to four ounces, the cream, you know, um, which is the dairy, two tablespoons a day, mayonnaise up to two tablespoons a day. Same with the olives, six a day, the avocado still the same, half a fruit. You can have some lemon or lime juice, limiting those to up to two teaspoons, some soy sauce up to two tablespoons, and sugar-free uh, either dill pickles or the sugar-free pickles and basically zero carb snacks so he is a little bit more um, specific 
in the um, card, end your card confusion, um, where he talks, you can still have unlimited red meat, pork, poultry, fish, shellfish, eggs. He goes into naming a whole bunch of those, and that includes the wild meat like the deer and the venison and the elk, all of those good things. He still sticks with the leafy greens and salad vegetables up to two cups per day. The non-starchy vegetables is still a cup a day. Cheeses is still up to four ounces a day. Adding dairy and fats, dairy fats, to, up to, up to two tablespoons a day. Salad dressings and added oils, which were not specified in the page four and five of his other book, is up to two tablespoons a day. Mayonnaise is up to two tablespoons a day. Olives are the same, six a day. Avocados the same, half a fruit a day. You can still have pickles, up to two servings a day. Soy sauce, up to two tablespoons a day. So he has not changed. He goes into more detail in the endure carb confusion in all of the chapters. Plus he gives you a segue into each phase, phase one, phase two, and phase three. How to go through to a maintenance level to find your carb tolerance level so that you can maintain your weight. The great books, both of them. Both of them are great. I know that this is very thin and very small, but I wanted it for my library. I'm a researcher. I love to research. I bought the book. It helps them and it, it's worth it to me. You can purchase, I believe he still has a sheet that's page four, and I think it's two sheets because I think it comes right from this book. I'm not sure if there's another book out there that has the page four on it by Dr. Westman that is not this or this, and it's older than that, or in between, besides helping writing the Dr. Atkins uh, New Revolution that he helped uh, co-author with, uh, I believe, Dr. Finney and someone else. I can't remember who the other one is, but I have that book too. I wanted to share that with everybody because what I really like about it, the strength is in the longevity, if that makes sense to you. I think a fad diet comes and goes very quickly. I think the strength in the longevity of having him with thousands of folks who have done this now just through his clinic let alone all over tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world. And starting with the Dr. Atkins, you know, A New Revolution. And, and prior to that, back into the uh, 1800s, you know, early 1900s, which was a medical uh, use for seizures, it has come forward. And I believe the tried and true from all that time has shown to me that it's not a fad diet. It's not a fleeting glimpse to like the cabbage soup diet and the Scarsdale diet and all those diets that were in and out of phase. Um, I think that it has morphed a lot. I think people have had more access to ultra processed ketogenic foods now than ever and I think that has been the stall in all of our weight losses because Harry and I have had Quest chips, Quest this, Quest that, you know, the keto things, um, the Atkins products, um, the shakes, all of those things which can potentially contrib contribute to a weight gain, a weight stall. You know, it's not the whole food original protocol. So I think going back to the whole foods as much as possible or limited ingredients in some of the, the bottled or canned things like a tomato sauce or, or um, something like that or a frozen, fresh flash frozen vegetables and potentially packed uh, fro frozen meat um, is still great. It's a great option, but staying as far away as we can without over imbibing in all of those packages, packaged goods, especially the ones where you have to count net carbs, right? Because you look at the first carb thing and it's 22 grams. Well, if I'm on a 20 gram or less total calorie 
that's gonna blow it right out of the water just for one item. So anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share that information because I said I would, and then I didn't. My bad. Anyway, it's all Harry, you, it's all it's you. All me. Harry's very hungry. It's 1 p.m. We have finished and we are going to break our fast. We are packing today and leaving early tomorrow to go camping at Dead Horse Ranch Regional Park, uh, which is up in Cottonwood. Hopefully it's a little cooler. Today it's only 101. It's supposed to be 79 degrees tonight. Woohoo! I am excited about that. Cooler temperatures. Now, on the 18th, it's a full moon and it's a solar eclipse. I mean, a lunar, lunar eclipse, pardon me, pardon me. Lunar eclipse, so be on the lookout for that. I can't wait because we're gonna be out of the city, city. Hopefully we'll be able to see it better. And I gotta figure out the time zone and all that good stuff. When, when does it start, when does it end, so we can sit out and watch it under the stars. But, Harry's hungry, he's going. Yes, he is. So you guys, we're gonna get started with breakfast. Yes, we are. Now, yesterday I made turkey patties and they are delicious, but I want an omelet. I want a meat and cheese omelet. Pretty easy, pretty simple, super delicious. So that's what we're gonna have. So, uh, because today is an eating uh, regular day, which uh, after you fasted for 20 hours, you're pretty hungry. And Harry kept, I kept watching uh, Travel Channel oh stuff gosh. this morning and they all show food. food. He was getting very upset with me. So anyway, I'm taking a turkey patty and I'm breaking it up and we wanna have a nice uh, good breakfast because we're gonna be loading and uh, fixing uh, our Vita, our uh, RV, getting her ready to go. So all we have to do tomorrow morning is get up, get our coffee going, put it in our travel mug and head out the door. So uh, tomorrow's a travel day for us. So I'm excited though to go. And I hope it is cooler in the mornings because I walk the campground. It's an uh, asphalt uh, road in there. It's, we stay at um, one of the loops. I'd have to look to see which loop we're going to be yeah, on. Yeah, you chose the spot, right? Yes, I did. Chose the spot. So, one and a half turkey patties. We're going to share this. I like making a big, big one all at once. So we'll probably have maybe one or two meals. I have chicken thighs that I'm gonna cook and take with us in Arvita. So that's one less thing I have to worry about cooking. And all we have to do then is heat those up and I've got those right over here. So I'm excited about this. This is gonna be delicious. While that is heating, my turkey meat is heating, I am going to crack some eggs. And we're gonna have a six egg omelet. Two, three, four, five, six. And I like putting just a splash of water in mine. Splash of water. And let me wash my hands real quick, Carrie. I got egg on them. Beating my eggs up. Beating them up. Yes, I am. Now, um, you can cook with olive oil. You just have to make sure the temperature is not too high. So I'm gonna turn down my temp, down to medium, because the meat is cooked. And I'm gonna put some of my Queen Creek Olive Meal Gourmet Dipping Olive Oil. This has Italian seasonings in it, including delicious rosemary um, basil. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. To add a little more flavor, plus to give a little bit more uh, oil for my eggs to be cooked in. So I'm gonna put some cherry 
real salt, which I adore on eggs. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have a different flavored smoked salt for every dish, it seems like. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, indeed. Yeah, but it tastes really good. Yes, yes, it is. So I'm going to just check the bottom of my egg. Do you know if it. they've got the salt in bags right now? Well, they did when I shared it with everybody a, a few weeks ago when I got mine. Yes, they had hickory, they had cherry, and they had um, chef's blend. Well, that's good. Hopefully they still have it. Yeah. And they have the three pack where you can get the uh, gourmet, the, the salts. They make great Christmas gifts. Oh, if man. you have a gift drawer, um, my parents had a gift drawer um, where they put stuff like that in it. And if they ever had to grab and go to a party or something where they had to give a gift to someone, it made great gifts. Yeah, and this stuff is per. My son in laws love this stuff. Yes. Oh my gosh. Because, you know, but. I'd have to say especially Dave because he cooks a lot of stuff Well, his son, uh, Justin bought him a um, Blackstone. Wasn't Blackstone. It? Yeah. A big Blackstone grill. Okay, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put this in here. Put some cheese on top here. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to cover it and let that cheese melt and steam and let the rest of that egg mixture um, firm up. And then we'll come back and we'll share. It gets ready. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, 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 that's hot. Look at this, you guys. Ooh. That is break fast. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah. Let's serve it up, shall we? Easiest way to get it in, out of the pan is to flip it in half and fold it like a omelet. Well, for me, the easiest way to get it out of the pan is to have somebody else do it. Is to eat it? Yeah. And there you go. There you have it. Look inside. Ooh, yum, deliumptious. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that delicious, you guys? Oh yeah. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. We'll do a taste test. You guys, this looks delicious. I'm very excited about tasting this. Oh yeah. I have La Victoria Salsa Brava. It's the hottest of the La Victoria um, salsas. I like the flavor of it too. I love it. It's my favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that looks good. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Come on, Harry, you can do it. Can't you taste those herbs in there with that olive oil? Isn't that delicious? That's so good. Man, that's good. You know, I like a... Everyone knows, like, some guys like to eat... I like to eat a pretty good-sized bite when I eat because I want it to cover the inside of my... It, all the taste buds get covered, man. Hmm. <laughs> Is that good? Oh yeah, that's freaking fabulous. Okie dokie. Hmm. I have to give this like a nine and a half. Ooh, nine and a half. Yeah, this is really good. Super easy, super simple. Mm -hmm. Using my leftover uh, turkey patties, just break them up. You can use any of the, you can use hamburger, you can use bison, you can use pork, you can use sausage. Just make yourself a delicious omelet. You have a string of cheese coming down your mouth. There, mm. dear. That's right. 
Sorry. <laughs> yes, you do have a napkin. Using the olive oil that's been infused with the herbs is phenomenal. It just gives it a whole nother layer of flavoring. So you guys know what that means. <laughs> Gotta eat it while it's hot. And while the cheese is gooey, look at that cheese, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So what is this I hear about camping? We're gonna go today. We're gonna go tomorrow and you get to go too. You wanna go camping? I'm getting all excited now. I know. I think I should get something to eat just to celebrate the, the whole thing right now. Would you like some chicken? Okay, well I just finished my last bite. So come on, let's go get some chicken. Chicken time. Yes. Well, it's about time. You are just excited. Some chicken? Okay. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I got your chicken all cooked yesterday, so we've, we're all set for camping. Here's your chicken for, this is your snack. It's your little snack. There you go. My snack. I'm going to stop for a bit of snack. That's it? That's it. Sorry, it's a snack. Yes, it is. You've got, I've got a batch cook. Okay, sure, fine. Beautiful, clean. Yeah, it is. You guys, I have to batch cook chicken. Got to start packing. Do I have my... Harry doesn't have any of the lights on. Oh, I was eating. Those lights don't last very long on. Anyway, I'm going to cook my chicken. We've got to get packing. I've got stuff in the laundry. Got a whole bunch of stuff to do today because we're leaving early. So... Anyway, you guys, we're closing out today, so please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the road in Cottonwood, Arizona at Dead Horse Regional Park. Yes, indeed. Yeah, say goodnight. I didn't hear you say goodnight, everybody. Goodnight, everybody. Okay, a couple more. One, two. Good night, everybody. And concentrating on all the work I get to do to go relax and camp. <laughs>